In this tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, digital fabrication and uh, the tools that you can use to actually automate uh, this process. We all know that uh, like physical models are sometimes uh, quite uh, difficult to, to create and to produce. So we need to use these tools in order to like have our workflow much easier and and uh, save time while doing this. I personally think that physical models are quite um, interesting to create and you can always see the project from a different angle uh, comparing to the typical 3D model. So I, I highly encourage everybody to, to design through a physical model and test everything uh, before like having their final project ready. At least that's what uh, they taught us in my uh, faculty. Uh, here I actually wanted to present you a project that was uh, actually a competition, a student competition for a binary. And uh, I wanted to share the techniques that I used here to uh, create this kind of uh, physical model and uh, how you can actually automate the creation of this terrain. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually model something similar uh, or just a, a dummy dummy model to show you how you can actually get these uh, sections and have them produced uh, on a, on a separate sheet uh, with numbers so you just you can just easily copy the, the the layout and bring it to the laser cutter so let's start uh, first we're gonna create uh, some uh, some uh, rectangle make it a cube and then let's for example let's cut it in some places like so and let's cut it a little bit more here to have some dynamic which we go here I'm just doing this as quick as I can so that we don't focus that much here on modeling, but rather on uh, on the creation of these digital tools. So let's say something like this and let's cut this guy also. Okay. So now we delete this and let's, for example, move these guys a little bit inward, like so. Okay, so we just want to have something to, so that I can show you how to, to create those sections. Um, the next thing we're going to use, we're actually, uh, we're actually going to the top view and let's rotate this 90 degrees delete this guy here and this guy and uh, let's let's create uh, some reference lines I'm gonna offset this for distance of one and let's copy this multiple times so since uh, since this will be uh, this material will have thickness we're not gonna create sections for each of them but every second one so I'll just put this reference geometry here these reference points so that I know where my sections will be okay so I don't need this guy and this is fine okay so this will be my reference points, you can delete this. And now uh, the, the tool that you need to download is called Section Tools. I'll put a link in the description below. And you just click here, Create. It will ask you for the object. It will ask you which direction. You can pretty much go with the default. And here is the first section. So you pretty much just click on these points uh, that we just created. And uh, this will give you uh, 
you can as you can see on the left side there is the names of the sections and don't worry because it's not going all the way uh, to, to, to the end it's it will it will recognize the object and once you have that done press enter and then the sections will appear here they are and now the next step is uh, to actually make the layout out of these sections to do this we go to section tools and we go to uh, nest 2d layouts and then we select all of them and let's say put them put them uh, here we have them okay so now uh, we're almost done uh, the next thing we want to do is actually uh, if you want to have the numbers for example this is a this is a, a, a text dot and this cannot be printed uh, because it's not a curve it's not a, a vector object so you cannot you, uh, the, the laser printer will not recognize the text like this so we need to actually convert this to the curve so that <clears throat> you know each section <clears throat> the name of each section so let's go to the top let's select all the the text dots and let's type convert dots and then it will ask you well you want to convert it to text what's the height what's the horizontal line and then uh, we said we just stay with the default uh, we delete the input and say yes and now we have the text it's not done yet so we just position it correctly here now we need to convert this text to a curve. What's the easiest way to do this? The easiest way to do this is simply type explode. Boom. There you go. So you have the text. It's all curves. You can uh, actually uh, get it, get it a laser cut. These numbers also. You don't need to cut it. You can engrave them. So. Uh, you actually cut the the outer edge and you engrave the inner edge. Probably you know this already, but uh, laser cutters usually go with the red, so you would want uh, uh, this uh, this line to be red, possibly this red, and uh, you actually want to change the line type, actually the print width from default to hairline line that's the important so that it's uh, it's very very like barely visible um, next thing you want to do is probably uh, depending on the laser uh, printer usually the, the the engraving goes in uh, cyan color this one and uh, this this will be engraved and this will be laser cut so let me show you one is one command that you can easily convert all of them we, we just you just select everything you tap match properties and you take this guy and it's done you can also use this, the same thing for the numbers match properties and there you go okay one last thing let's group everything let's group each each of these segments so I <clears throat> I uh, executed the command once and now as you can see I'm just uh, to repeat the command I'm just typing I'm just pressing space bar and it's it's activating the command for me it's like a easier way to do this it's quicker so while I'm grouping this the reason why I'm grouping it is because I want to uh, use another plugin that I will show you now that will actually populate my my uh, my sheet with all of these elements so that I don't need to manually uh, prepare them so what do I think what do I mean by that let's just say that this is our this is your panel for the for the laser cutting and uh, now you you would you would out of time. what you would usually do you would actually go like this and then you would rotate this then you would put another one 
try to fit it and then you try to do this manually and you lose a lot of time until you put all of them on the on the sheet of paper so the easier way to do this and to automate this is to use the plugin called Rhino Nest. You press here Optimize Object Position, select Objects, select everything, press Enter. Uh, now it's asking you the number, like the quantity, is it one? In our case it's one, we don't need more pieces. Then you say OK. Now it's asking you, OK, give me the unique sheet. Here it is. Next. We want to, to change this freedom here from fixed to free. And this is the, like this, the distance item to item. And this is the distance item to sheet. And let's, for example, just the one. And let's go next, execute. Now you just watch the magic happens in front of your eyes. There you go. Done. In this case, I'm not sure if this is like the most uh, efficient calculation, but for example, let's do it one more time. We set the distance here at one. Let's change that distance. Uh, let's experiment with this a little bit. Okay, so experiment a little bit with uh, with the options, and uh, this is the the best optimization I found. So let's say, okay, uh, unique sheet, select sheet. And uh, the option we want to use here is distance 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, we want to use the freedom to free here and to put here as minimize area, lower left point, everything uh, stays the same. Click next and let's the magic happen let's watch the magic happen second time this time a little bit um, better than the first time so there you can see uh, you save a lot of time by just waiting for a couple of seconds instead of rotating all of this at your own time so I hope that you found this useful uh, if you like this kind of tutorials and if uh, you think that somebody can benefit from them some of your friends or anybody please uh, like and share this so that um, more people find out about these tools